So now let's add the functionality to add and delete post from the front end. Inside the utils folder, I'm going to create a new file postactions.js. I'm creating this file so that my code can be clean and well organized. But if you don't want to create this separate file, you can create the functions inside the components itself. So inside this file, I'm going to import Axios. And we are going to need our base URL and our catch errors function. Also, we are going to need our GSP package. And here I'm going to create an Axios instance. So const Axios, this is with a capital A and Axios.create. And inside this, we have to pass an object with the configuration. And our first uh, property is going to be base URL. So here inside template strings, it is going to be our base URL slash API slash posts. So every request which we are going to make inside this file is going to be on this URL right here, uh, localhost 3000 slash API slash posts and our headers. So every request is going to be protected. So uh, we are going to add our authorization header here. It is going to be cookie dot get token. So I created this access instance so that we do not have to pass in headers again and again on every request. And from this file, I'm going to export a function export const submit new post. It is going to be an async function. And inside this function, we are going to receive the user text location pick URL, set posts, set new post and set error. So these are all the parameters which we are going to receive inside this function. And inside try catch block, if there is any error, we are going to call our catch errors function, pass in the error. And we are going to save this inside error message. And we are going to just call the set error and pass in this error message right here. So inside the try block, we are going to make a post request to the backend const res equals to wait and make sure to use the axios with capital A here dot post. So here our URL is going to be a slash because we have this base URL right here. So we are going to make the request to this route right here. And inside the body, we are going to pass in the text location and pick URL. So if the user has provided an image, we are going to upload it to Cloudinary and pass in the URL here. So from the backend, we are passing in the ID of the post, post.underscore ID. We are going to receive it inside res.data. So I'm going to create an object here, new post. And basically we are going to create our own post here. So it is going to have an underscore ID, res.data. It is going to have a user. So user we are receiving inside our parameters and this is going to be an object itself. So the state of the user who is logged in and text location. So the ESX syntax here and pick URL. If it is there, it will be added. And likes is going to be an empty array. Comments is going to be an empty array. This is a new post. So there will be no likes and comments. And after this, we are going to call our set posts function. So the state of the posts and from inside here, we are going to return an array. We are going to add the new post and spread the previous. So we are adding the new post at the top of the array so that the new post can be shown at the top. And after this, we are going to call our set new post and we are going to set the text to empty strings and location to empty strings. So now let's import this function inside a create post component. Import from utils and post actions. It is going to be submit new post. Let's minimize this. And on this handle submit right here, we are going to set the loading to true. And then we are going to create a variable pick URL. By default, it is going to be an undefined. So here we are going to check just like we did on our signup page. If media is not equals to null, we are going to call our upload pick function. So pick URL is equals to wait upload pick and media. 
and if no pick url we are going to return from this function so set loading to false and return set error and our message is going to be upload error uploading image so after this check we are going to call our submit post function so submit new post and we are going to pass in a user text is going to be new post dot text location new post dot location and then our parameter is pick url so the variable which we created set posts and set new post and our set error so these are all the parameters which we are going to pass if you want to destructure out the text and location from the new post object you can do that and after this function we are going to set the media to null and set media preview to null and we are going to set the loading to false so now let's check if it works i'm going to create a post here with a picture and you can see our post is created added to the top and we have all the information right here also on this image right here where we set the on click to input wrap dot current dot click i'm going to remove it from here from the image and the icon here and we are going to add this on click on this div itself right here so now we do not have to add on click on both of these components it is on this div right here it will work the same so if you do not want to create the new post this way you can send the post created from the backend inside the on our post route we are creating the new post we are going to create a new variable post created and we are going to find the post with this id right here post dot underscore id and we are going to populate the data of the user and then you have to send in this post created back and here i'm going to remove this object new post and on the set post function you have to pass in the res dot data because now we are receiving the post from the backend and let's remove this user right here we don't need it now and let's remove this from this function call and let's save so now if i refresh and let's create a new post here And now you can see you get the same result the data is uh, populated from the backend so now it is up to you which way you want to create the post i think i'm going to keep it this way because this is more simple and easy to read we are simply sending the post back after populating the user object so now for the delete post if i show you the deployed version if i delete this i'm going to create a new post first here So if I delete this post here, and you can see you get this uh, notification deleted successfully. If we are using React Hostify for that. Now if I go to the Re uh, React Hostify package on npm js, and from here we are going to copy this uh, CSS import, and inside the app.js, I am going to before the semantic UI CSS import. I'm going to paste it right here. So let's create this function export const delete post. We are going to receive post ID, set posts, and set show toaster. So inside here, try catch. And if there is any error, I'm just going to alert the user. So for the message, I'm going to call the catch errors function and pass in the error. So inside the try block, I'm going to make a delete request. So axios dot delete, and again make sure you are using the capital A axios, and our URL is going to be base URL slash API slash posts, and whatever you want to append, you can add it here. So inside uh, template strings slash, and our post ID. 
we are receiving it inside the parameters so after this request is made we are going to call the set posts and we are going to return the posts with the id other than the post id right here so previous dot filter post and post dot underscore id not equals to post id so it will filter out the posts and then we are going to call the set show toaster and set it to true so this is all we have to do for delete post function and now let's import this function inside our card post component so inside this card post we have this pop-up here and we have a button inside it so on click it is going to be a function here and delete post and i have used the auto import if it doesn't work for you make sure to import it first and we are going to pass in the post id so post dot underscore id set posts and set show toaster we are rece receiving both of these inside the props and on our home page index.js i am going to import the component from layout and toaster so inside this file i have created a component post delete toaster and i'm going to create a use effect here it is going to be when the show toaster changes and if show toaster is equal to true we are going to set timeout set show toaster back to false for three seconds so inside the return statement, if show toaster is true, we are going to show this posedly toaster. And I have added the timeout for three seconds because if you open the component here, you can see right here, the auto close is set to three seconds. So if you want to change any of these values, you can definitely read the documentation or change them yourselves and see what they do. What they do. So now let's check if it works. We are going to delete a post. First, let it refresh. And I'm going to delete this post right here, the fourth post. And if you click, and you can see the post is deleted and you get the toaster. So, this was all for this video. In the next video, we're going to start working on adding the functionality for liking and unliking a post. So, I will see you in the next video.